Hey, Demon Hunter, what you got going on? I live for the hunt. <laughs> Sheesh, all right. What's even up with these guys? Is it just me, or do these guys seem a little aimless? Ever since, you know. I mean, they dedicate their entire life, sacrificed everything, yada yada yada, to defeating the Legion, and we popped them out of their prison to help us do it, and let's be real, we nailed it. So, uh, what's next for Demon Hunters? Because we've got new big bads showing up roughly every two years, and I've yet to see a setting where Demon Hunters don't stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, just look at this guy. But let's take a step back and peek at how Demon Hunters ended up here. Oh, hey, it's our friend, the War of the Ancients. As we covered previously, back in the day, the Night Elves fought a huge war against the Legion. And one of the Night Elves, who you might know, came up with a pretty gruesome, but nonetheless effective, way of fighting the war. Illidan Stormrage. You are not prepared. Illidan is the edgiest of the edgy the peak result of the Harley Davidson dad vibe of early Warcraft, which is just super charming. I mean, just look at this guy. He's so ridiculous, he loops right back around to just being rad as hell. Back on subject. During the war, Ilden would learn to absorb demonic energies to become part demon himself, in hopes that he could use the Legion's power against them. And by golly, he did. Some of the other Night Elves would see Ilden taking this path and think he was onto something. And so Illidan would train these Night Elves in his ways at the Black Temple on Outland. However, it wouldn't be fair to not mention how much it sucks becoming a Demon Hunter. The book covering a lot of this process, Illidan, is probably the darkest Warcraft book there is. And if you really just want to see how bad it gets, there's a great Platinum WoW video covering it. The students of Illidan would eventually get sent off on a mission to retrieve a MacGuffin during the raid on the Black Temple. And when they come back, they discover the players had defeated Illidan, and they'd end up getting locked up right up with them. Then, during Legion, they get broken out to fight the, you know, Legion. And now they're just kind of still here? I mean, they certainly still have stuff to fight, but with how much they went through to become a demon hunter, it's hard not to see them as a little hollow following the defeat of the Legion. Heck. There's even a little through line with Ilden Maiev about how the hunter is nothing without the hunt. And we've got a lot of demon hunters with no demons to hunt. So what's going on here? Well, let's see what groundwork Blizzard has done to establish what post-Legion demon hunters are up to. Recently, we did get a mini quest line regarding Night Elf demon hunters as part of the Amirdrasil story which places a nice interrogation of their true ambitions when they accepted the Legion's power, and maybe how they can move back towards Night Elf culture. And then, as far as I can tell, the only other mention of what they're up to is... being a pet battler? Yeah. Bliss hasn't really given us a clear picture of what role Demon Hunters have in our roving band of heroes, but I think I've got a decent idea of where Bliss can go. Before that, though, Let's take a look at a similar case that I believe Blizzard handled masterfully. Death Knights. In a similar situation to Demon Hunters, they were released in Wrath with the sole mission of defeating the Lich King, which, you know, we did in the same expansion. While they were a bit aimless for a while, I really think Blizz carved out a unique niche for these icy fellows in Legion and the following expansions. In their class campaign, Death Knights see themselves as the only ones depraved enough to make the hard decisions necessary to fight back the Legion. While the Paladins and the Priests hope to stay on the right side of the light, Death Knights know that we're going to have to do some bad stuff if we want to see next expansion. What kind of bad stuff? What about resurrecting a bunch of fallen, sacred heroes so that we can juice that last little bit of heroing out of them? You know, pull out the reserves. There was nothing more out of line than their attempt to raise Tyrion Fordring. Yeah, Tyrion, the paladin. After dying in the Broken Shore, Azeroth lost one of its brightest lights at the start of the war. While another champion would take on the mantle of Ashbringer, there's a perfectly good corpse just laying here that could kill some more demons. 
So, in an event that is frankly just surprising that it happened, the Death Knights invaded the Paladin class hall to try and retrieve the corpse of Tyrion, in the hopes that he would become the new leader of the Four Horsemen. They end up getting pushed back by the Paladins and decide to make Darien the new leader. But regardless, they were willing to desecrate the corpses of one of Azeroth's most storied heroes. They'll do anything to protect Azeroth. The Death Knights also play a major part in Shadowlands. Turns out the Death Knights are quite relevant in the Death expansion. In summary, Death Knights have been able to create a unique role for themselves in a post-Lich King Azeroth. They're the grisly defenders who will go to any length to protect the life they were denied. How do we tie this back to Demon Hunters? Honestly, Death Knights already took the whole desperate gambit angle, and that doesn't leave much room for Demon Hunters, as that would also fit them quite well. But I have a few ideas of where we can take them. Demon Hunters. They super specialize in taking out demons. So much so that up until recently, they were bringing their own demons to the party just to hunt them. Like your gluten-free friend at a pizza party. But what does this give us that we can work with? Well, I think we lean into Demon Hunter's fanatical approach to dissecting the weakness of their foes. After years of battling the cunning Legion, the Demon Hunters will make the perfect crack squad to devote themselves to finding that chink of the armor we need to take down the big bads. Our fell friends could establish themselves as the people who know things. The kind of folks who keep a Batman-esque book full of plans for taking down every threat we could potentially face. However, this does leave a good bit of that fun fell flair on the table that is core to their identity. Probably the most unique trait of Demon Hunters is that they willfully absorb the magic of their enemy in order to use their own power against them. I think this gives us an interesting angle to approach them from. As we saw in my last video, elves are like the Warcraft Eevees when it comes to magic, and demon hunters are elves that use this to their advantage to become demonic adversaries. So let's say, hypothetically, we're about to fight the Void over the course of a 10 year multi-expansion saga, with the Void being the one cosmic threat that eclipses the Legion. It might prove handy to have a group of seasoned elves that specialize in redirecting that corruptive influence right back towards their enemy. Our blindfolded friends could begin to create interesting stories of adopting the Void, seeing it as the next evolution of their discipline. It would also make all the oddly abundant purple tier sets fit. While Void Elves and Warlocks already kind of have this niche, I think those are basically the cousins of Demon Hunters, so they would fit in right in alongside them. The main issue with this is that Blitz would need to do a lot of legwork to establish this shift in class identity, and even adjust VFX or introduce new abilities to reflect that newly found access to the Void. In addition, the name Demon Hunter wouldn't be entirely accurate anymore. This also just kind of pushes the problem down the road. While the Void is a big threat, let's be real guys, we've got a hell of a track record. I think this one's in the back. So after all that settled, Demon Hunters would be left on the curb again. Which is why I've come up with one more path we could take these edgy fellows down. Let's say we want to stick hard to being the fell empowered Demon Hunters who specialize in everything Demon. Well, Demons come in a lot of shapes and flavors. And while Demon Hunters in game actually look quite similar, in the books, it's said that Demon Hunters actually take on the traits of the specific demon they absorb. With so many different types of demons, perhaps Demon Hunters could become the fell foil to druids, using a variety of demonic forms in order to perfectly counter whatever foe they fight. Shoot, maybe we get a third spec out of shapeshifting into different demons. This possibility has the most potential, not just from a lore standpoint, but gameplay too. Demon Hunters could become known for their vast access to powers of the various species that fell under the Legion. We do run into the issue of how much effort this would take to fit into the actual game part of Warcraft. But I do think it would carve a unique niche out for Demon Hunters on the Planeteers. It also serves as a permanent reminder of just how much the Legion destroyed during their tear across the galaxy. But this is all in Blizzard's hands, and by the looks of it, they've already got plenty on their plane. However, 
I hope that we can find time for a quick detour over the course of the next few X-Packs to explore some of the potential of Demon Hunters. Or maybe the Demon Hunters could just use a break. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. This has been Six. See you guys next time. Bye.